Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks video and welcome to episode 6 of our classic Career Survival series. In today's video, we will be adding fishing nets to our small fishing boat here, as well as adding everything else we need to get it finished and ready for next episode when we finally get to take it fishing. But anyways guys, as always, I hope you'll enjoy. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so here we are in the workbench. So we're going to start with the nets first of all. So what we'll do, we're going to grab some winches and we're going to do a very similar setup to what we had on our previous fishing boat in last season. So what we're going to do, we might come here, we'll put a couple, oh, I need one more block and we'll grab the winches out again and we'll come about here, turn them around and that'll be where our main pontoons link up, I think. And to make this look a little bit more pretty, we might just put a couple of wedges on here, something like this oh we are gonna need room for buttons though aren't we so maybe oh we got a little bit of spot there what if we put the two buttons here and here might be good and we'll go like this these won't be used very much so if we just go like that should be just fine then we'll just paint all of these green make them blend in a little bit and this little top piece maybe can be red the same color as the rest of the boat so just go like that and paint the bottom of that green awesome so what we'll do we'll have this one as up and this one as down so we'll go like that and we'll do the same thing on this side up and down so this is yeah like i said going to be a very similar setup to last season's boat because it works pretty well so go up and down and down and up very nice so what we're gonna have to do next we're gonna have to get some pivots out and make a separate body so we'll grab one of these and we'll just chuck that oh here should be just fine and then we'll grab some blocks and come off of that so we'll get rid of this and this will be the top of it i think one two three oh, it's going to be on the deck that's probably fine i might make it come up one more actually just like this that should be fine and then we'll get some wedges out and we'll put a little point on the front can i get that to go the right way there we go and around that way and we'll do a similar thing on here uh, boop, there we go and what i'll do i'll just put a little wedge in the front there so it's a bit more buoyant so we'll go something like this and then we'll come along like that Maybe, yeah, four blocks. We'll do a similar thing to last season. Oh, you know what? We'll do three. We'll make it slightly smaller so it fits a little bit better with this boat. And then we'll come three along there and do exactly the same thing on the bottom. Go like that. Very nice. And then what we'll do just before we carry on with those bits, we'll just fill in the front, get the point going. Yeah, yeah, both sides. Very good. And turn that bit around as well. Boom. And boom. Very nice. So what we'll do, we'll grab some wedges, come along like this, make them little floaty thing look alike. So it'd be nice. So we'll keep coming all the way to there and the same on this side. I can never get these to go the right way. Uh, something like that should be fine. And then we'll get some little wedges. Go boom and there and on the bottom and on the side. Very nice. And then the little net piece will come out the back right here. So we'll go like that and we'll go net and we'll chuck a little net anchor right here. Very good. So they'll float, have the net above the water and the, these ones here will allow the net to drop into the water. They'll hold the bottom of it. Should work pretty well. I think that's, yeah, that should be fine. And then we'll go get some more pyramids and we'll fill in these little pieces just here. Alrighty, so we have these microcontrollers here that we had in last season's pontoons as well, except they're four blocks long, so they're not actually going to fit inside here. So what we might do, I think we might just do a sneaky and extend the back of this a little bit. One more block, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, can I do both sides at the same time? Should be able to. Yep, that's all we need. So we're going to move that back. One more block, we'll paste it right there. Very good. And then we'll just link all this together and chuck these controllers inside. And we'll just do the same thing on the bottom, turn them around. And Oh, yep. Okay, that's fine. So that's going to, have to go that way. We need a block on the side here. Very good. And under here. Yes, that's under there done. And we just need the two top pieces. So we go like that. And that awesome. So we could probably merge all that together now. Yes. And now those controllers will fit right inside there perfectly. So we'll turn that around and cut paste it in there so i'm gonna have to change that to a block <laughs> and we'll try again yes turn it that way awesome so we can get rid of that now there we go and we'll just replace that with a wedge that'll be fine and then we'll do the same thing on the top if some wedges along like that so that is all set up to work just fine so we'll just leave that for a second actually what we'll do we'll quickly put the cables in the front here instead of blocks rather might be a bit better we'll go like that and we'll link it all together boom and boom Awesome, so these net pieces are going to be next. So what we'll do, we'll make another body on the back here with some of these. So we'll go like, we we'll have to stand these ones up because we can't come backwards anymore. <laughs> That's fine. So what we'll do, we'll just come across like that. And then we'll just grab some more of these, I think. Actually, I think these can just be ropes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, well, maybe we can just use a rope anchor. That might be fine. I don't think we need it to have any power going to it. 
I don't think anyway. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. And then what we'll do, I might just grab a couple of blocks. Why can't I come up here? Oh, yeah, right. So we've got some blocks now and we'll come up the back like this. And actually, these are going to be weights. Let's change that to weight blocks so it sinks in fairly well. Go boom, 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 and boom. And we'll put some net pieces on the end of that. Is that going to be... That's a bit too big. What if we come back a couple? Let's go like this. That should be fine. Hopefully, it's heavy enough. That's all I'm worried about. And we'll get a few wedges and we'll just stick them on the sides. We'll go like this and the same thing on there. So that should work. I don't see why it wouldn't. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. And we'll connect that together with that one and that one. Eventually, we will upgrade these medium winches to large winches at some point when we can afford it, but not just at the moment. So we'll go like this and we'll link all of this together. So it's a fairly big net, hopefully. Well, it's big enough for this boat anyway. It's not huge, but it will work for this. Alrighty, so next up, we're going to need a helm. So we might chuck one of these. Uh, we don't have to use the helm, but I'm going to, to, to be able to control this rear crane and whatnot. So if we turn that around and we'll just chuck it right here, should be fine. I don't think that will be in the way. Or we can come back a couple maybe if we come back to here. Yeah, that's probably fine. Then all that's got its own little area. And what we'll do, we'll just grab a little wedge and we'll just put it on the side there. To make it look half connected would be nice. And what we'll do, we're going to grab a clamp. So this will be for the pivots down here to make that A-frame rotate back and forth. So what we'll do, we've got a little spot down here we can put it. Yes, so we'll chuck it on the wall here. Should be just fine. And we'll jump into the clamp. And we're going to have the minimum value as negative maybe 0.8. And the highest value will be 0.7, I'm pretty sure. Something like that anyway. We can always change it later on. So we'll connect this up to possibly W and S. Yeah, let's go with that. And then this one will go to the actual pivots themselves. So we'll go like that. And with the W and S, uh, so this will be a frame and we'll have it on sticky. So what we need to do, these are going to be hooked up to these when you lower the A frame down and then we'll launch it out. And they're just going to be laying on the deck here for when we're not using them connected up to these winches so they can't go anywhere. So that should work pretty well. So what we'll do next, we'll get these control sorters. We might come up one more just like that. And can we come up another one? Is that going to be too big? It, there probably will be, won't it? Okay, we'll put a little wedge on that corner piece. That might make it look slightly better. So what we're going to do, we're going to actually jump out of here for a moment and we're going to go into research and displays. Yes. Uh, so we need to unlock the instrument panel. So what we'll do, go back to displays. We'll unlock this and then we'll unlock the instrument panel and I'll see you guys in a moment. Alrighty, so here is our instrument panel. We might chuck one right here and we'll have all the net controls on this one. So on the first one, we'll have net retract. Just like so, and that will be a button, toggle button on number one. And then we'll have net extend on this one here. So we'll go button, toggle on number two. And finally, we're going to have um, net release, just like so. So we can release all our fish out of there. So that should be pretty good on a toggle on number three. And then number four is not going to have anything on it. I don't think we need anything on that one there. Awesome. So then what we'll do, we really need some more room to have controls on, don't we? Yeah, anyway, what we'll do, we'll have another little controller down here perhaps and maybe one there if we need it to. I don't think we can actually reach all these buttons when we're sitting at the wheel, that's all. Oh well, that's fine. And on this one here, we're going to have all the A-frame control. So we'll have A-frame winch in. So we'll go like that. And we're going to copy that and go down to here and then this will be winch out just like this. So we'll change these to some buttons on toggle, button, oh, not a gauge, a button on toggle on one on two and then on three and four we could have the deck winches in and out just like so so we have deck winch in deck winch out and a frame winch out a frame winch in so they're all on toggle on their perspective channels which is pretty good so i might make or well, get rid of this one and go like that i might change a few things around we'll see what we can reach from the steering wheel and whatnot but i might make some controls up for these and i'll be back in just a moment Alrighty guys, so all the logic is all done, all the composites hooked up, we have our little controller down there, everything should be good to go, I've linked all these with the net anchors which should work, I've also raised this A-frame by two blocks, so it's all the way up at the top of the build limit and everything has been painted, so we should be good to go, so we're just going to save all that quickly and then we'll spawn it in and we'll give it all a bit of a test, what we might do, we might take it out in the water a little bit first, so let's jump in here, start this bad boy up, yes, give it a bit of throttle, let's go forward, Yes, very good. So we'll keep coming. Okay, just here should be just fine. We'll turn it off now. And we'll just make sure it all works before we go any further. So what we'll do, we'll jump in here and, yep, this way. Bring it down and we'll connect these up. So we'll go like this on that one and this one will go up like so. All right, so we'll bring that in. A-frame winch in. So bring them all the way up. Yep. 
Okay, and then we'll go like this and we'll, well, this way. And we'll bring that out like something like that. And then we may have to put a handle on these. Can we push that? Ugh. Give it a bit of a push. Yep, okay, that's one and two. Awesome, so they're in the water now. So we jump on here. Actually, and then what we'll do, then we'll go deck winch out. I think that's the one we want. So they should be sinking in. Yes, they are. Very good. So there's the net there. It looks pretty good. And I don't know... Okay, yeah, right. I just need to extend the net a bit now. So we'll stop that for a moment and we'll go net extend. There it is. It's getting bigger. Nice. So we'll put those winches down a little bit too. Yeah, something like that. All right. So the water is not all that deep here, but we can... don't know how big the net will go. It's still coming out. It's still getting bigger. <laughs> okay, it's going to be a pretty big net. Okay, it's all the way down at the bottom just about. Cool. All right, so let those winches go down a little bit further. Maybe about here should be just fine. We'll turn them off for the moment. And we'll go A-frame winch out as well. And then what we'll do, we'll start driving forward a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Clutch off. Yep. Yeah, the boat's on. Okay, let's give it a bit. A bit of throttle. Oh, okay, that's plenty. <laughs> all right, that's um, pretty good. We might just go a little bit slower. How many RPS are we doing? 15. How fast are we going? 30. Okay, that's pretty good. So how are these looking now? All right, there's our net behind us. So we could probably turn those off and we'll turn these ones on. They can go out a little bit more. All right, so it's going to get a lot bigger when we go into deeper water. So that's pretty good. Nice. Okay, that's a good size for this little boat. I like it. We just need the water to be a little bit deeper, that's all. But it does work, which is really, really good. The net up top could probably be a little bit wider, I suppose. But anyway, that's fine. It works well. We'll have to take it out into deep water and give it a proper test. So we'll, we'll do that. But for now, we might just head back home and take this thing back and keep working on it. Because I have quite a list of things that I need to do today. And we need to get it all done. So let's head back. All right, so we're going to assume that all works just fine. So we're going to leave that for now until we've tested it otherwise. So the next thing I'd like to do is get some control fins, actually, and put them right at the back here because it is sinking in quite a bit under a high throttle. So what we'll do uh, under high throttle, under heavy throttle, so we'll go like this. I think that's the way up we need it. Yeah, all right. And then we'll just paint all that the correct color so it fits in a bit better. We'll go gray. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, something just like that. That's fine. And then we're going to connect that to our throttle, but we're going to go through a function controller. I think we should use this one here. So I'll just chuck this down here, just on the wall will be fine, just on the one side. And we go like this, and now we'll connect that up to, uh, it needs to go to the fin, so we'll go boom and boom, very good. And then that will go up to our W and S. So what we're going to have in this function block, we'll go into it and edit it, and we're going to have um, X divided by, we might go... Eight. We'll start with eight and we'll see how that works out. So we'll go update that. Awesome. So that the purpose of that is to try and lift the back of the boat out of the water slightly. Or not out of the water, but just try and keep it more level when we're going at full throttle rather than tipping back so much. So hopefully that fixes that problem. And the next thing we could probably do while we go and test that, or before we test that rather, is add a reverse button in here. So we'll go toggle. We'll just grab one of these and we'll just chuck it. Oh no, what we could do, we can do it on the helm actually. That'll be fine. So what do we got here? Number two is being used. They start the engines. Number three can be reverse. So we'll just take that down to the two gearboxes. And we'll change those into minus. So we'll just go like that. Very good. So number three on the helm is reverse. So that should work. And the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to add some lights onto this thing. And then we're going to get buttons for all the lights we've already got. Uh, so spotlights, what do we got? Okay, we do have the big ones, which is pretty good. I wonder, oh, maybe we could put just one big one in the middle up here. That might be okay. Maybe we can go get some wedges out and we'll go like this. We'll turn, we'll go on both sides so we'll keep it in the middle. Start maybe here, we'll come up like that. Maybe we can move that forward slightly. If we go like this, that might be a bit better. We'll go like that and we'll get our spotlight out and we'll just chuck it on the end of there. Would that look okay? It should do. Go okay, boom. Yeah, something like that. That's fine. <laughs> uh, we might just put a little block in there, make it look a little bit better. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. It looks a bit funny. Should we move these back one more? No, I think I liked it before. <laughs> we'll go like that. We'll just leave it like so. That's fine. And we'll just paint that red. And we'll go all that red as well. Very good. And under there. And we're going to change the brightness of that light to like a dark gray. Something like that. I think that looks okay. Maybe a little bit strange. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> let's get some more lights out. And we're going to light up the deck a little bit. So we'll grab just some regular ones of these. And we'll just go around the deck slightly. Um, so we'll just go maybe one here. And we just put them down on the floor level, just like this. One there, we'll go one here. Maybe one there, and one down the back, or towards the back. Maybe there will be fine. So we have eight deck lights. That should be more than enough. 
that's fine. And we'll have a little toggle button for those on the outside, should be fine. So we'll go like this, and we'll just chuck a little toggle button right here. So this will be deck lights, just like that. And we need a spotlights button on number four, just like so, and that will go up to our spotlight. So where is number four? There it is. So we'll go up to there. Very good. All right, so I'm just gonna put some toggle buttons around for the different lights that we have on the interior, and I'll be back in just a moment. Alrighty, so that is all done. I've also added some nav lights up the top and they turn on when you turn on engine one. So assuming engine runs always running, they'll always be on. So that should be just fine. And we have a few little buttons scattered around for all the lights around the boat. So next up, I would like to put some rope anchors on and around the boat just in case we need to tie up or whatnot. Um, we cannot put anchors on just yet because we have not unlocked mag also. That'll be something we will add eventually, but not just at this very moment. Um, so we'll put a little rope anchor. Oh, I can't even put one on the front there. Oh dear. <laughs> I have to put it like... Stand it up, I suppose. Yeah, just something like that. Might turn it around the same way as the rest of them. And then we'll have to have a few more going down the boat like this one there. And we'll put one at the back here. And we'll put maybe one right in the middle there just so we can tow anything if we ever need to. Should be fine. I think that's a good spot. Maybe we'll go down one more block. Let's go right here. Yep, awesome. So we'll quickly give all of these a bit of a paint. Just like so. So they're all painted now. Um, the next thing we need to do is add a refuel port. So uh, we need a fluid anchor, one of these ones. So we can fill it up with some fuel if we run out ever. Uh, we could probably put that. We have it on the, yeah, have it at the back here, I suppose. We do need to put pipes off it though, that's all. Maybe what we'll do, we'll have a little spot for it over here. We have a little thingy sitting here and we can have a cable anchor next to that in case we have to charge up. Just go like this and we we'll just put a pipe underneath here is going straight down into the fuel tanks what's that oh into the orange okay that will work perfectly actually nice and where is the t-piece there it is just grab that and we'll chuck it right here turn that up that way and we'll put a straight pipe in there so we'll get some pipes out and we'll stand that up this way and up into is that the right one yeah it is nice <laughs> and we'll put that into there and we we'll just have a block under that one and we'll just put a few wedges on it to make it look like it kind of fits in a little bit Something like that should be just fine. And what we'll do, we'll just paint the top of that yellow and I don't think it just be red, doesn't really matter. Now, we should probably have some equipment somewhere. I don't know exactly where we're gonna put all that. If we go specialist equipment, uh, we have a fair bit that we need to add. So we're gonna need some welders and whatnot too. Maybe over, maybe over this side, we can have a little rope storage box is probably a good idea. So maybe we can just come out like, this or maybe just get rid of that layer and we can have a few ropes and things sitting on the deck here it's probably a good idea maybe four ropes and maybe a hose and a cable maybe wouldn't be a bad idea we can go something like that and we can still walk around it all which is pretty nice that should be all we need for out on the deck and we're going to have some more welds and stuff inside so we go like this and just end that off just like that that's probably fine just a little bit of equipment out there hopefully it doesn't add too much weight to one side we'll check it out after where the weight um this center of mass is and we'll adjust accordingly put some weight blocks around but that should be fine maybe down here in the bedroom we can have a bit of equipment maybe sitting on the wall over here perhaps we could come up a couple like this and just come up to here and just fill that in i guess why not <laughs> and something like here we can have some more specialist equipment on the wall so maybe should we have a, some sort of medical bed that's probably not a bad idea, actually. Maybe we should get rid of all that and put the medical bed on this side. It's not a bad idea, you know? Uh, so we'll do the same thing as it's on this side. So maybe if we get rid of that and I go on both sides, that's where it's going to start, all right? So we'll go like this and the medical bed can sit on top of here. So what we'll do, we get a bed out, medical bed, and we'll turn it around. Oh, this way, actually, rather. That's better. And we'll have a bit of equipment on the deck just here, on the deck on the top of it here. So we'll go specialist. We're not going to need too much, to be honest. We'll just have a few health packs. We might turn the right way. It's probably a good idea. And we'll have a defib just there. Maybe, hmm, we'll just put two more there. That's fine. And we'll have a defib sitting on this part, just like so. That's that's more than enough medical. I don't think we're going to need any more than that. We are going to need some tools and stuff, though. So maybe, what's in this area exactly? Okay, that's uh, outside. <laughs> Maybe we can have some specialist equipment on this wall here. We don't have firefighting stuff or anything. Oh, dear. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we'll just make it all work. We'll put a couple extinguishers. Wouldn't hurt. And then we're going to need a couple of welders. I'd like maybe two of each kind of welder. I think that. don't think we can put anything else on that wall. Maybe we should have some extinguishers up there. What's this? Oh, we can have a couple maybe laying down. That should be fine. So we go like this. couple of welders there. And maybe two underwater welders on this side. Probably wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Like that. I don't think we're going to need too much more. 
Well, we don't really have too much more unlocked, to be honest. Oh, fishing rod. Ooh, we definitely need some of these. Um, maybe if we have a little... Should we have a little continue this storage box? Or we should put one on this side. Maybe we'll put a little something down here. We can have a fishing rod just here. We'll just go like this. Or you know what? Yeah, actually, no, that'll be fine. And we'll just put a couple little wedges on. Just we're only going to need the one, I think. We're not going to need too much more than that. Go okay, boom and boom. All right, so that'll be our little fishing rod holder. That's cool. So we've got a little storage box, fishing rod holder, our filling ports over here, and our charger, just in case we run out of power anywhere. That's good. So now we need to put some stuff inside of here. We don't have any displays unlocked, unfortunately, but that's okay. So I don't think there's actually too much more we're going to need in the interior here, actually. We've got everything we need downstairs. We don't really have anything else unlocked that we can put inside, like no cloves or anything. So maybe... We don't even have a heater or anything. Far out, man. <laughs> we're going to need a fair bit more stuff to... Um, we need more research points first, though, but that's okay. So what we might do, we might just say that this room's finished for now until we have more stuff unlocked. So the last thing I would like to do, I might just add... Uh, I was going to add a couple more fuel tanks, but I don't know where we can really put them, to be honest. We could possibly add, like, another couple that come down the side here. We grab that orange. Maybe just, like, this wouldn't hurt. A couple more, not a bad idea. So we'll quickly plumb them in, and then we'll give everything a bit of a paint inside, and then we'll go and give it a bit of a test. Alrighty guys, so everything has been painted. It's just kind of pretty ordinary colors, nothing too exciting. We have this kind of color inside here, some dark gray along the bottom. Similar down in here and the same in the back. So it's not very pretty, but um, it'll work. I could also paint these, make them blend in a little bit better. And anyway, so we're going to go and give everything a bit of a test. I have hooked everything up to some power, so everything should work, hopefully. So we've got a few things to test. We need to test the reverse button, the rear fins that keep it stable, and a few bits and pieces. So we'll jump in and we'll turn this bad boy on. There we go, we go outside, let's go out this way, forwards please, there we go, nice, so we're on the move, let's test those fins at the back first, that's keeping it pretty stable, oh yeah, that's full throttle as well, how fast are we going, 52, let's just quickly see if we can make that go a little bit faster, um, so we go down to our gearboxes here, what if we go back to, oh, uh, what if we try 3, 2, let's see what happens, Three, two. All right, let's save that, and we'll go and test that instead of the other one. So hopefully it goes a little bit faster. i just got to keep an eye on that fuel consumption because we need this fuel to last. That's all, because we're going to be going out pretty far in this at some stages. So let's go full throttle. Yeah. All right, what are we at? Okay, very stable in the water. How fast are we going? 74. What's our RPS at? 12. It's chugging down the fuel a little bit. We'll give it a bit of a chance and see. Why are we leaning so much? Oh, we're leaning heaps. Oh, dearie me. Oh, look at that. Can we take it back? No, we need to go back. Okay, let's go and fix this problem first. There might be... Whoa. <laughs> there might be a bit too much weight on one side. That could be all the problem is. Whoa. Okay. I might still chuck some floats on the side as well. Might be not be a bad idea. Yeah, look how much you're leaning. Far out, man. <laughs> Why is that? Okay, let's go and work this out. Alrighty, so I've just centered that middle uh, weight thing there. I just put some weights on one side. So we'll see if that fixes the problem. I'll give that a quick paint, just like this, and those pieces underneath. Very good. So we'll save those changes, and we'll go and test it again. Yeah, that seems to be a lot better. We're actually riding pretty stable now, which is nice. So we're stable front and back ways and side to side. So that's nice. So what we'll do, so we're going 75. We're going to slow right down, maybe to like even 20 or 30. How fast are we going? Yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. So we'll go and test out these nets, make sure they all work. There's that stupid noise again. Ah, I hate that noise. Anyway, we'll bring this forward. We're going to test the net out in some deeper water. We'll just get it connected up while we're here. Go boom and boom. And we'll bring that in to make it even. So go A-frame winch in. Just like this. Yes. Bring that up like that. Okay. And then we'll jump on here. We'll put that out the back. Just like, whoa. <laughs> just like that. That'll be fun. Oh, there's a fish. Hello. And oh, by the way, I also moved the fishing rod up to be in the same little casing as um, these, the fluid hose anchor and the cable anchor, just so it wasn't separate by itself. I think that looks fine. But anyway, that'll do like this. What we'll do... Oh, no, let's bring that up. What am I doing? We need to go down here. Uh, deck winch out and A-frame winch out, and we go net extend. So give that a minute to billow out a little bit. So how fast are we going? 25. Let's speed up a little bit. Something like that'll be fine. So we'll go and control it all from back here and make sure we get it at a good size. All right, something like this. I think that's a pretty good size net for this little boat, to be honest. Uh, it's not huge, but it's it kind of fits to the size of the boat. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I like it. But we'll give that a chance to catch a little fish, hopefully, before we head back home. There's a little fishy in there. There was actually one in there before when we were testing it, but yeah, we lost him. <laughs> but anyway, that's fine. So we'll assume that that's all good. What else did we have to test? 
We better go around and make sure all the lights work. So we have our interior lights there. These are all our deck lights. Very nice. We'll head downstairs. We're not going to run into anything. I think we'll be fine for a little while. So we have all our bits and pieces down here and in a sealed room. We've got some lights down here. We have our medical bed, a little window so we can see outside, and in the engine room. So with these, it's a bit funny. You can actually, oh, if you're on the right angle, yeah, you can actually see outside right there. But they're sealed up. So I don't know. You tell me. I don't understand. <laughs> That's all right. Our battery is going down. Why is that? We have alternators on this thing. They don't seem to be doing anything. Oh, we have no clutch on them. Okay, we better go and fix that then. <laughs> My bad. All right, so... Oh, that means the water pumps aren't working either. Oh, dear. Okay, we better head back and do that right now. <laughs> that could be pretty bad. Ah, oh, my big noggin hitting on that. Okay, so there are two things I really forgot. That's quite important too. So let's turn around. We're going to head back and fix those problems. Well, we have a fish in the net as well. Cool, so we can test out and see if the hopper system works. That's all right. So we'll head back, and just before we get there, we'll test out the hopper system. Alrighty guys, so we're just about back at the dock now. The water is very shallow, so the net is kind of dragging. Oh, it's just picked up again. No, okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh, it's caught a third fish. So let's turn the boat off right here. And we go off and off. Okay, so stop, 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 stop. Don't go any further, please. So we have, I think, three fish I think we have in there. That's right. So what we'll do, we're going to bring all of this up. So we'll go net retract, and we're going to bring the A-frame winch in first. So how's that going? So we'll give that a second. Yeah, we have three fish. That's pretty cool. Well, the net is getting very small, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> it's going tiny. All right, let's start bringing in the deck winch as well. Here it comes, coming up out of the water. So I just want to make sure this little hopper system works. As you can see, we have nothing in it at the moment. Yep, three of the same. Are they the John Dory, I believe? I'm pretty sure. Okay, that net is gone tiny. <laughs> so we give these winches a second to come in. All right, there they are. So what we'll do, we go but get back on our helm here. And we'll bring this up and hover over the hoppers like that. Is that enough? Yeah, we could probably come forward a little bit more. Yeah, something like that. I assume that will work. So what we'll do... These are so big, man. I wanted them a bit smaller. But anyway, let's release the fish and see if the hopper picks them all up. Net release. Yep, they all went in the hopper. Nice. So the only thing is, I would like to put tracks on this eventually so we can slide it forward because if I lower this down too far, in my last boat, the net was sitting on top of it, like right on top of the hoppers and the, the fish just went straight through it into the ground. So I don't know what happened there, but that seems to work pretty well anyway. So that's okay. So what we'll do, we'll take this thing back and we'll add some clutches on. So we'll just go with some constant numbers on the clutches for the alternator and the fluid pumps. Alrighty, so that should work now. Let's go and turn it all on and see. So we go full throttle and we're out of here. Boy, bye. Alright, so let's make sure the battery's going. Yeah, the battery's full. Okay, that's a lot better. And we're doing about 70 odd kilometers an hour, close to 80. And everything is going pretty well. Let's test this reverse as well while we're driving around. So we'll stop for a second. Uh, reverse is number three. So now we'll go clutch up. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, oh. That's going to pick it up out of the water. Because when I put it in minus, those fins bring it up. Oh dear, that's a problem. <laughs> I might have to come up with a different system for that. Maybe we could put just a constant number on to turn them down all the way. So let me work that out real quick. Alrighty, guys. So I've just linked it up to a switch box. So when you put it in reverse, it turns the fins off completely. So whatever happens after that happens. <laughs> so we'll go forwards and we'll see if this works. Go forward. Very good. So if we go full throttle, it keeps the boat fairly level. That's pretty good. I like that. And if we stop right here and put it in reverse. Oh, okay, we stalled. And then we need to come backwards with that up here, Sat. Let's go up a little bit more. Yep, okay, and we'll come backwards, see if that fixes the problem. Come up. Yep, come up. There we go. And we're going backwards just like this. It's still coming out of the water a little bit, but it's it's working. So that, that's fine. We'll just leave it like that. So I think that we are actually ready to go fishing, which is pretty exciting. So I'm going to turn these engines off. Um, yeah, I think we're ready to go fishing, which is pretty good. Um, so that is definitely what we're going to be doing next episode. So I don't know how much we're going to catch or whatnot. We cannot unlock displays at the moment because we don't have enough points. So we'll do a little bit of fishing um, next episode. And then after that, we'll try and get some more research points and some money so we can unlock some more um, bits and pieces for our boat and then hopefully another island would be good soon when we get a bit more money it'd be really nice but anyway guys i hope you all enjoyed i'd like to thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video